Just after winning the Miss Canada International pageant in 1996, Danielle was accused of attacking her ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend in a barroom brawl. Danielle insists it was an accident and claims her ex was out for revenge. He grabbed me. He said, this is it, baby. This is it. I'm taking your title. I'm taking it away from you tonight. I'm sad that they had just made the decision to do this. Stripped of her crown, she's now stripping for Playboy and feels everything worked out for the best. All of those things combined had to happen to get me to the place where I am now. In their first trips... That's 40 for your great. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Our uh, next guest has done more to redefine beauty contestants in one punch than feminists did in 20 years of protesting. Please welcome, direct from the cover of Playboy, Danielle House. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, uh, you're beautiful. <laughs> so are you, Mike. Well, thank you. I gotta ask you, though, you're the only person I ever heard of who won the fight and lost the title. Yeah. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> A little delayed laughter there. So, you were Miss Canada. Yeah. International. Yeah. Tell me the difference between that. Why Miss Canada before and now Miss Canada International? I don't understand. Um, basically, it all uh, boils down to copyrights. Copyrights? The, yeah, the uh. um, Miss Canada organization and their producers, they uh, decided to stop running the pageant. So another group wanted to uh, do a national pageant, and it would cost a lot of money to use the name. So just added on international. Same thing, a uh, national title, but yeah. not the same organization. Really? That's riveting. <laughs> it's enthralling, isn't it? Oh, everything you say. Greg, I'm sorry I didn't pay this much attention to you. Well, that's well, um, okay, I guess I better ask you what everybody's been asking. Oh, God. Me. What's your address size? <laughs> no, five. Uh, a five? That's incredible. My soon to be ex wife is a seven. <laughs> Now, I met you, what, a year ago yeah, in Newfoundland September. when I was playing down there with Sean Majunder, another mm -hmm. Canadian comic, and I guess we met you about a week before yeah, the was, big uh, yeah, dust-up, huh? very shortly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, believe me when I tell you, I'm on your side. What did this woman do? <laughs> oh, God, the pressure. Um, she and I were both in the wrong place at the wrong time. Basically. Oh, so you were reaching for a dinner roll. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was reaching for the I had no trouble with this story at all, Danielle. <laughs> all right, so you kind of got into a bit of a punch up there? And... Um, well, it wasn't uh, like it was described in the papers where there were uh, tables flying and beer bottles being smashed, as I read in one paper. But uh, someone got hit. <laughs> yeah. And you should see the other beauty contestants. <laughs> <laughs> so did you hit her in the face? Yeah. In the gut? In the face. Hit her in the shoulder? In the face. <laughs> in the face? Wow. Demonstrate. <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, I, Go ahead, I, punch I, me. I got... Punch me. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> you want me to? No, you're on probation. Smarten up. <laughs> So you've been on tour promoting this. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, before you get too upset about uh, having your title taken away and all that jazz, I want you to remember one name, Vanessa Williams. Uh, yep. Things are going really, really well for her. She's fantastic. She is. So this is the cover of Playboy, yep. and you're wearing boxing gloves. They obviously went for a great joke there, <laughs> like I was even going to bring it up. And uh, 
This is coming out at Christmas. It's out now. It's, it's been out, out now. It's been out for a week. Really? I thought about it was a, a computer-simulated car. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Christmas issue? This is the Christmas issue? Yeah, the gala oh, yeah. Christmas issue. This is issue. Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Never, it's a stocking stuffer for many. I've never been so excited for about for Christmas many. in my life. I'm sorry? It's a stocking stuffer for many. It's a stocking stuffer. You bet it is. <laughs> you bet it is. <laughs> now, when you did the Playboy thing, did you get to meet Hugh Hefner? Yeah, I met him twice. Really? Mm -hmm. Was he in his jammies? Yep, trip? silk pajamas, smoking jacket or coat, and the pipe. Really? Mm -hmm. And slippers. Slippers? And he wears this 24 hours a day? Well, I wasn't with him for 24 hours a day, but... Good, it was a trick question, Danielle. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, li he likes Canadian women, but... Uh, sure he does, you married yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, Shannon mm -hmm. Tweed yeah. was Shannon in Playboy, he loves Shannon Tweed. Shannon Tweed is also from... Newfoundland. Newfoundland, mm -hmm. very good, <laughs> right. Yeah. We've got Newfoundland uh, in the audience. Yes, I knew there were Newfoundlanders. They seem to be clapping at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I love all the people in the country. <laughs> all right. Now you have quite a, an exercise regimen. No. No. That's what I meant. No. By, well, yeah. what, what would your diet consist of? Do you watch what you eat? Yeah, I make sure it's red meat, greasy fries, uh, anything that's bad for me. Wow. So using this argument, I'm bound to be Mr. Universe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go to commercial. We'll be right back. Next up, we're going to talk with Terry Sylvester of the Holly. How are you, Terry? I'm fine. You didn't say I could get a kiss from Miss Canada when you got me on the show? No, in this country, we leave that up to the woman. Oh. <laughs> There's going to be at least eight feminists watching this show tomorrow. <laughs> Guaranteed it. But maybe he did, but I'm not saying it, because Paul's a friend of mine. <laughs> but that's the reason. When you were hammered last night, you had no trouble telling me the story. Yeah. Well. <laughs> we're back, and uh, every guy I went to high school with, this will never happen to you. <laughs> Never. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Can you sit on Derek's lap for a while, too? <laughs> it's, it's time to announce the winner of our Comedy Network contest for a trip for two to Montreal's Just for Last Festival and 10 cases of Barks Root Beer, which is a lifetime supply if you're really sick. <laughs> the, the winner is William Power of West Bank, British Columbia. Yes, William Power. Yes. Congratulations, William. I tell you about all the great acts you're going to see, but so far the only one who's booked is you. So it's eight months away. All right. And uh, well, I'd love to tell you to join us tomorrow night, but I'm really not cocky enough to assume we're going to be here. <laughs> Actually, tomorrow night we have skating champion Kurt Browning. Yeah. And we have the curator of the Birth Control Museum. <laughs> and the arrogant worms. The arrogant worms, folks. All right, now watch out for Greg Toomey's Daily Tips for Modern Living. Thank you, Greg. That'll be in the new year. Special thanks to Danielle House, Derek Edwards, Bruce Harwood, and Dean Haglin from the X-Files, and from the Hollies, Terry Sylvester. Good night, folks.